should probably be looking there, huh? Wow. I've been looking in the wrong spot this entire video. My fault. Hey y'all, it's your girl Nikiko. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am finally doing my highly requested skincare routine. And as you see from the title, how I got rid of my chest and back acne. It's definitely a lot better now, but nobody wants to talk about it. And I'm gonna tell y'all how this like $5 soap literally saved my life. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So first I start off by washing my face with the Proactive Renewing Cleanser. When washing my face, I always make sure to use the 60 second rule. I actually got it from an esthetician who has a YouTube channel. I will leave her link down below. She gives a ton of great skincare tips all the time. And the 60 second rule honestly really works. It basically just means that you wash your face for at least 60 seconds. Sometimes I will just wash my face with my fingertips. However, on some days I do use my spin brush from Vanity Planet. It is from their Spin for Perfect Skin line. I think it's called, I don't know, everything I'm using will be linked in the description box. And since this face wash does not foam, I like to add a bit more of the face wash onto the brush. But when using the spin brush, I just like to be very gentle because I do have sensitive skin. So after rinsing that off, I make sure to tap my face dry with a clean towel. I don't want to rub my face because I read somewhere that if you rub it, then you're putting like dirt and whatnot back in your print. I don't know. It was on the internet, so I just dab my face. So after washing my face, I go in with my Body Clear Body Wash from Neutrogena. Let me tell y'all, this has literally saved my life, and I think it's like five dollars from Target. I suffered from really bad chest and back acne. If I can find pictures, I will include pictures in this video so you can see. I have tried all different skin lines that are supposed to be made specifically for chest and back acne and body acne and all these other things and nothing worked. And I was spending like forty dollars on different bars of soap and stuff and this is literally five dollars if you suffer from body acne like i do definitely definitely recommend this and it won't break your bank it's just it, ugh, it's it's the plug honestly so i will then take again my vanity planet spin brush and this is a different brush head that got sent to me with a different um skincare kit I don't like to mix my face wash with my body wash. If you do buy the Vanity Planet brush set, it does come with two other brushes, so you can definitely use one of those as well. So again, I just wet the brush head. Some of the... entire floor is wet but it's okay I did it for y'all I did it for the skincare so now after washing my face I will go in with one of two masks I either use the teamy detox mask or I use the Bella bar organic papaya ultra illuminating face mask one of these two these are the only two masks that I can use on my face that do not break me out. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I love the Teamy mask. It really pulls out all the dirt and impurities from my skin, from my pores. I can literally see it in the mask, like all the little oil spots. Um, and my skin looks so much better and so much more clear after I use this. Um, when I do use the Teamy mask, I use it at least two times a week, sometimes three um, you can use it up to four times, but again, since my face is more on the sensitive side, I try not to. And then I love to use the Bell Bar Organic Papaya Ultra Illuminating Mask. So I love to use this mask to even out my skin tone and brighten it. And also, it is all organic and it is made by women. So, get you some. I will leave promo codes to both of these down below. So I'm going to go in with my Teamy Detox Mask. 
I make sure to dampen my face before applying the mask because I feel like the mask just goes on a lot smoother. And then I just apply the mask with this e.l.f. foundation brush. It's really inexpensive. You can get it at Target. I do avoid the creases of my nose for some reason. Those parts are really sensitive. And this mask does tingle a little or just has like a cooling sensation until it starts to dry up. So I just don't even want to irritate that area. So now that we look in real cute, you know, Shrek ain't got nothing on us. Fiona, step aside. We are just going to let this dry for 10 to 15 minutes. And I will see y'all then. Close up so y'all can see all that oil that was pulled out of my pores. Now, I'm going to just pat my face dry. And I'm going to go in with my Bell Bar Organic Papaya Ultra Illuminating Mask. So it says you mix one teaspoon of a face mask with one teaspoon of water, aloe vera juice, or honey. So this company likes to specialize in like everything organic and you can mix it with other organic ingredients. And I like to eyeball things. So that's what we're going to do. And then I have this little syringe thing that I got from the dentist, so I use it to measure my water for this mask. You can mix it up with like your hands. A spoon, you know, just a spoon. Just get a spoon. Don't be like me. So again, just lightly massage it into your face. So I'm going to let this beautifulness here dry and I will see y'all in 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so now that we've rinsed this mask all off, after this mask you definitely want to go in with like a toner or something else to wipe your face just to make sure you get all of the mask off. I will go in with my Neutrogena Rapid Clear Treatment Pads. So I'm just going to rub this pad all over my face. And then I also use a pad for my chest and my back. Okay, so now that we're done with the Neutrogena pads, I go in with my Clindamycin Phosphate Topical Lotion 1%. I got this from my dermatologist. I'm not sure if there's something like over the counter that you can just buy that's like this. If I find something, I will link it down below. Then I just apply this again all over my face, chest, and back. So after I am done applying my clindamycin, I will use the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. It is non-scented, so I like to use this on my face so it does not break me out. So thank you so much for watching my skincare routine video. The only difference between my nighttime routine and my morning routine is I don't use the proactive face wash in the morning, but I do everything else. Also, I will have everything linked in the description box down below. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them or DM me on Instagram. So I guess I should probably start working on an outro, but until then, thank you all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you, and I will see you next time.